I'm so excited to hear from Dr. Yen. Yes. Uh, as a CEO of one of the leading genomics research corporations in the world, what do you see as the future of genomics, personalized medicine, and precision health? And what do you think is the role of AI and Chad GBT? Um, what do you think, uh, the, what role will they play uh, in all these advancements? Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to show my thankful for the president from SFDA. Thank you for your trust. At the very beginning, during the pandemic in 2020, April, May, around there, you know, you trust us. Yes. So we just uh, set up over 500 technicians come to this, your kingdom and build up the five, <coughs> the, we call the Huyan laboratories to help to do the, only the PCR test. But we use the same standard. We use the same validation and verification. So we just keep the results can bilateral recognized. It's very helpful, I think, to control the pandemic. Before that, uh, the experiment uh, totally lasted 21 months and finished the 18 million samples already. But now we just do the upgrade from the only PCR test to the genetic test, genomics test, mm. other omics tests. We just uh, built up a GV laboratory we call the Genelife. This is the largest Omics lab, clinical lab them already here. Wow. Last Friday, the open ceremony. Mm. So we can see the trends from the phase one, phase two, phase three. Not only the digital twins, but also reality twins. When you talk about, uh, how about I think about the genomics? Uh, let's look back for the first the human genome project. That means uh, United States, UK, German, France, Japan, and China. BJ just uh, on behalf of China to take part in this project. This project, all world the scientist, it takes 13 years, 3.8 billion US dollar, 16 different institutions only finished one human genome. But today, we just take several hours, and the region cost is as low as only 99 US dollar. You can get your whole genome resequencing. So when we talk about, about the big data, about AI, about GPT, about the maybe metaverse, I just think it's the very beginning about the, you know, this digital society is coming. So when we talk about the AI, three pillars we needed. The first is data, then is computing power. Third is algorithm. For us, for biotech, the data is not enough. Mm -hmm. Look back, compared to other technologies, <coughs> for example, uh, for ex electricity, 90% people can enjoy it. About internet, 60% people can enjoy it. Mm. But about genetic or genomic data, only 0.03% people already can enjoy it. So it's a large space for get more data. Then we just seek the data is large enough we will see the conclusion drop out from the noise. We will see the signal we call the emergency in bell, in lung mm. And on the other hand, you know, in the pandemic, one thing we, I think mankind should be touched. If we do not share the technologies, we do not share the public health applications, vaccines, uh, IVD kits, the virus, they will definitely occupy the world. People must as a whole, not just separate region to region, country to country. So we must keep the cutting edge technologies affordable, accessible, equitable. Mm. This is a very, very important thing. The niche technologies is not only for the rich man, it's not only for the, you know, the money. It must be the human nature, by the humanity, that more people can enjoy it. That's the future of the mankind, of the human being. So I think with the combined the three factors, the first is affordable, accessible, equitable technologies. Second is the strong organizations, just what you have done as FDA. And the third is about widespread scientific popularization. We must let people have the correct idea about the, you know, biotech, life science, 
not so many consequences. As I combine the three things as a whole, they will immediately will see the effect for the people, of the people, by the people, share with people. And uh, I believe, I do believe, we can make great breakthrough contribution to the public certificate literacy, public health benefits, and we will increase our the average life expectancy. That's my two cents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love everything you said. Um, I just want to recap on a few things. So you said that gene sequencing is now costs $99. Can you tell everyone how much did it cost just a few years ago? I think maybe sequencing will be free. But the data, the data mining mm -hmm. will be a next necessary thing. So I think all of us will learn, will start to learn a new language we call the life language. It's the real nature language. Now we call the nature language, it's just the human language, it's not the God language. The God language is DNA. Plants, animal, microbe, human being, we just use the same language. We just learn how to know the grammar, how to know, do the interpretation for yourself. I just, when we talk about the 4P medicine, Prediction, precaution, personalized, and participation. And I think the most thing is the last thing, participation. You are your own, you know, first uh, responsibility of your own healthcare. That's it. Absolutely. Um, on healthcare equity, I just want to share that the WHO defines um, healthcare uh, equity as a basic human right. Uh, so making healthcare affordable and accessible is a basic human need and right. Um, so yes, 100%. Uh, and I think the third big theme that you highlighted, uh, uh, Dr. Yin, is the, the real life example of the partnership uh, between BGI, a Chinese company, and Saudi Arabia during the pandemic that really forced us uh, to push borders and do everything that we can to uh, serve humanity. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Yen. Yeah, I have no doubt about achievement we can reach, but I'm concerned on the other hand about the technology development. The Earth is not, a whole, not only a human being. True. The Earth can exist without a human being, but a human being cannot exist without the Earth. So I think, you know, people like us who do biotech, especially about the gene editing, should have fear and respect the human nature and bear in mind the human nature. The humanity without the technology might be ignorant. Mm -hmm. However, the technology without humanity must be dangerous. This is I want to emphasize. Thank you.